Yeah. See, a lot of rumors that these people are planning some more malicious actions, especially rigging elections. So yesterday when we were tipped, indeed it is true, we found Anita had packed with her, herself and her vehicle inside the electoral commission premises, inside where electro, ele, election equipment and materials are kept. So I'm wondering what was she doing there. Moreover, at night, you see a candidate inside the electoral commission where materials are kept, that is criminal. And uh, I believe this kind of people, people should be arrested. We had an agreement with the EC that upon receipt of ballot paper that all the stakeholders should be able to come and monitor their safety. And I was following that, that agreement that we agreed with the EC in the stakeholders meeting. Allowed uh, Honorable Anita, who is one of the candidates, in so that they could verify whether this place uh, had those uh, uh, items which were suspected, either the staff, or the whatever it was called. But uh, it was important that when they entered here inside, the concerned people came in and said, but why did this vehicle and uh, how did plus the DR, how did they come indoors? But even her actions are illegal. So whether it was agreed or not in the meeting, that is an illegality, and she must face the consequences. In a game, there is always a winner and a loser. She won last time, and I accepted. I've won this time, she, she should also accept. And we work together to develop Tesla and Bukede in particular. By the time the Electoral Commission allows people inside their premises, what does that mean? It means these people are compromised. They are compromised, and for me, I'm looking forward to getting a lawyer to handle these matters. Because we can't allow this situation to continue like this.